Abiodun believes that Nigeria has a huge potential for a successful use of biogas because of vast agricultural landscapes, plenteous bio waste, and perfect weather conditions for the biogas reactors. He wants to increase awareness of biogas and encourage the government to invest in it. Yeah, well, one of the reasons I would say the, the use of, uh, of, of biogas technology, uh, also that biogas um, technology is not being used in, in Nigeria. Number one, I would say um, awareness is very, very key. Education, you know, people are not being you know, enlightened about this. And also, number two, the government um, readiness, the government uh, uh, policy to encourage uh, people to acquire this because this in other African countries we have a lot of programs that support farmers to acquire because it's very expensive. Like um, all that design with other other designs that use maybe concrete, they could go as 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 much as um, 500,000 era, you know, to acquire. But you know, for a rural uh, farmer that you know that use uh, firewood that make use of kerosene if he, he, he or she prefers to just buy in a hundred liters hundred uh, nera kerosene and and use then you know you wait for the next day where when you buy you know another kerosene also but with this what we are trying to try to do, do here is to use our local technology you can see we use the plastic we modified um gp tanks you know we're trying to you know reduce the size and it will be the cost. And for this, for this system, it's about uh, it's about hundred thousand naira that you know for cooking alone. So one of the things that government is not doing is you know, they are not encouraging uh, people that need it because those people they are poor people. So nobody want to nobody want to put that even hundred thousand naira as this my my same nobody nobody want to put down hundred thousand naira as a, you know at once. But eventually this system can last for like. 15 to 20 years. For this type of reactor, uh, cow manure is suitable, is good. Pig manure is suitable and also good. Um, uh, the reason why I said those things are, are, are good is because then they don't need what we call pretreatment because you don't need to 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 pretreat them or to reduce them the size or to cut them like the grasses. Grasses also can also be you know used in this. Um, in this reactor, but you need to, to grind it, you know, a form of procedure before you use. Then also food waste from the household can also be used in this for this type of digester. Then, but other baggers, technologies or reactors, everything that is anything that is biodegradable, human waste, you know, you know, food waste, industrial wastewater, uh, you know, can be used to produce biogas. But in this type of system, the household system, cow manure, pig manure. Poultry manure, human waste, and food waste are yeah, very suitable for, for that. But generally, biogas, we are told anything biodegradable, we, we produce, uh, we biodegrade and, and produce the uh, biogas. There are several different techniques for producing biogas, and several models and designs of biogas machines and plants now exist. Nevertheless, the concept remains simple and the same. The heart of any biogas system or production arrangement is known as a biodigester or simply a digester. A digester is a sealed and airtight tank or container that behaves like the stomach of a human being. It collects waste or the raw materials and digests it with the help of billions of bacteria. For biogas to be produced, this digestion must happen in the absence of oxygen, scientifically known as anaerobic digestion. The valuable byproduct of this digestion process is methane, the cooking gas that we so desperately need. The methane gas that is produced usually rises and builds up at the top of the digester. A gas pipe is attached to the top of the digester to carry the produced gas back into the house, usually the kitchen, where it is used as fuel for cooking or heating. The, the, odor, the odor is reduced from, the, from when you take the manure, the odor is re reduced when it gets to the reactor, reduced up to 90 to 95 percent. You can see we, you, you can hardly smell you know, the manure except for the fresh one that we, we have. So for cow dung, it, there's no much side effect, but you just take care of the, of, of, of the gas. You don't let the gas leak so much, especially because we have a component called the hydrogen sulfide in it. So, 
how we remove that, we have a technology to, rem to remove that. It's very cheap uh, to remove the allergen soft, to remove that allergen soft, soft part. So, but when you work with, with, with the manual, just wash your hands and very well before doing some other things. Gas engines require about 0.5 cubic meters of methane per horsepower per hour. Some care must be taken with the lubrication of engines using solely biogas due to the dry nature of the fuel and some residual hydrogen sulfide.